You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Welcome to Shop Talk with your host, Daryl Ann Wright. Daryl encompasses discussions about the latest trends in fashion, beauty tips to fit every budget, promotional giveaways to callers, as well as deep discount codes on products shared exclusively with you. She's always looking to find the best designs out there. So please welcome the host of Shop Talk, Daryl Wright. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Shop Talk. You're listening to Daryl Ann Wright. I'm your host, and we're coming to you live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We have a wonderful show for you tonight. I have a guest that is so positive. Um, I, let me just tell you a little bit about him before I, I bring him on. His name is Nandez, and he comes to us from Compton, California. He's a positive awareness rap artist. He's focused and determined to bring positive awareness and prestige back to the city that he loves while making thought-provoking yet fun music in the process. Having been raised by a single mother, Nandez is well aware of the struggles that can be ever so present in the most urban communities. It was these very factors that led Nandez to write his very first rap at the age of 11, although he did not seriously start to write until his senior year of high school when a friend encouraged him to do so. Fast forward several years after dealing with various trials and tribulations within his collegiate education while working various jobs, Nandez released his first download free download debut EP entitled The Talented 10th Compton Era on SoundCloud, Noisetrade.com, and other various music platforms in the summer of 2015. Nandez has accomplished quite a bit in his journey to the top of the music game, such as opening up for Baby Bash, or D1 and Slum Village, and the best is yet to come. Nandez has said, and I quote, I just want to inspire and restore hope in our communities, much like the jobs artists such as Tupac, Nas, Lupe Fiasco, and the late Nipsey Hussle have done for our communities. I just want to be in the company of greats, and I end quote. Ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome Mr. Alfred Texera better known as Nandez. Welcome to the show, Nandez. How are you? Yo, yo, yo. What's good? How you doing? <laughs> Thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure to have you here. I, I know you're coming to us from California, um, and I know that things right yeah, now, man. you know, are, are a little bit somber, intense, but I just want you to know, brother, that we're with you, you know, our listeners, they're they're paying attention, they're, they're you know, they've got so much in their hearts for the situation that's going on there and all the better to, to come and talk to you about the power of positive rap. And I want to start off. Let me ask you, what inspired you to start this, the thing that you call the positive rap official movement and to brand yourself as a positive rap official? What inspired you well, to start that way? You know, that's a good question. Um, you know what, like when I started rapping, started making music, like I was inspired by, you know, the typical things like, you know, drugs, the over-sexualization right. of women, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Just right. like the typical rap stuff. And, you know, as I got older, I just started to realize just how negative the world could be. And it started just eating away at my spirit. So I was yeah. just like, man... You know, it's a known fact that, you know, negativity and just like, I, I believe, like, this is what I believe. I believe that, you know, humans in general, 
Yeah. I believe, well, not humans, but like in this life in general, you feel me? It's so hard. Yeah. I mean, it's so easy to, you know, just, you know, be negative. Like if we turn on the news, like oh, the definitely. first thing you see in the morning is so-and-so got killed or, yeah. you know, yeah. such and such happened. And, and, you know, it's all just so negative and, and bad, you know what I mean? And yeah. I just started, yeah. like, it just started to, it started to affect my spirit to the point where, like, I had to literally, like, make an effort to be happier, make an effort to be positive. So mm -hmm. with the whole positive rap official movement, that is just me. It's kind of like a daily affirmation for me where yeah. it's just like, all right, like, you know, with everything that goes on in the world, all the pressures of being, you know, especially for me, like a young black man in a world that hates black people in general, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. just something that, you know, really allows me to remember that positivity is a choice and positivity is something that, you know, can help navigate through this negative world. So that's, that's right. really what the that's really what the motivation for it was for me. You know what I yeah. mean? So Yeah. 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 That's, that's where and, and that's where it birthed from. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and that's so apropos because the same for me, you know, and anybody really, when you're watching the news, yes, there, there are good and bad things that happen all the time, all over the world. But that's the first thing, you know, that, that you're seeing. That's the first thing they start with. You don't get those feel good stories, you know? And so, yeah, no, it, can, it can, yeah, you barely get them. And, and it does take you down a path that you, you may, you know, start to think that everything is bad. You know, the world is bad, you know, and, and, and your, your yeah. life, you know, is bad. And, and what can you do? So I'm right there with you, brother, with this positive rap official movement. I'm right there with you because positivity to me breeds positivity and negativity breeds no, negativity. Really so yeah, yeah, it really does. It really does. So, you know, I'm your first rap fan. I'm your <laughs> I'm your positive rap nah, official. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm right there with you. I, I want my T-shirt. Yeah, I, I saw that T-shirt. You had that on in the in the promo. So uh, I, I'll take it in a large. OK, <laughs> I got you. I got you. All right. So so when you started making music now, you know, in your your bio, it says that you first started rapping at the age of 11, but you really started to yeah. seriously rap in your senior year. So was there something that happened in your senior year or did, was it just maturity? What was it? Well, you know, it happened um, like I first started trying to rap because I had a family member that was rapping and, you know, I just kind of wanted to be like them. Yeah, but uh, yeah. what happened was, is like when I got in high school, I start realizing that, you know, music could be a good way to get the girls. So I tried to start, oh. I, try, I started trying to, <laughs> I started trying to sing, but oh, you know oh, what I mean? Like okay. I used to be, okay. I used to be walking around trying to sing to the girls and stuff like that, you know, get my Barry White on, but <laughs> you know, I just, I, okay, I so just found that rapping was more of more of my speed, you know what I mean? Like I just kind of, I think I just kind of fell in love with the, the, like the lyricism and the, like how clever you have to be to rap. And, yeah. you know, I just took it out of the challenge and I just, you know, really wanted to, you know, start rapping, but it initially started for me trying to get this girl that I liked in, in like the 11th <laughs> grade. You know what I mean? so. Well, you know, that's really smart of you too, to know <laughs> what it is that's going to get their attention. Um, and let me ask you something, too. <laughs> you know, when you're writing a rap, you know, I've always wondered, you know, because rap lyrics, they just flow right off of your, your tongue, you know, and, 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 and one can be yeah. amazed about how much you can actually say, you know, within a rap song. You, you're telling your you could tell your life story, you know, in a rap. So yeah, you when can. you're writing. Yeah. When you're writing, where do you draw that that insight? Where, where does it come from for you when you're writing positive rap? For me, it just comes from mostly life experiences or just, you know, where I would hope that my life would go. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah. And, you know, we're going to come right back. We're going to take a quick break because I want to dive into what has really influenced your rap. Is it your faith? Uh, we're going to find out. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 
Unleash the obstacles that bind you with certified professional coach Joanne Charette, a master practitioner in energy leadership. Joanne can help you break through personal and professional barriers and guide you to a higher level of empowerment and fulfillment. Passionate and dedicated, Joanne engages with her clients on a mutual journey. Her dynamic energy will motivate you to move forward as you partner on a venture to greater results. Isn't it time to make a breakthrough and commit to live the life you deserve? Invest in yourself and let Joanne Charette be the catalyst to the realization of your dreams by making them a reality. Based in Quebec, Canada, Joanne is also a space coach using social media and Skype to work with anyone anywhere around the world. Contact Joanne Charette today at 819-360-3266 or email her at actionrealization at live.ca. 819-360-3266. Now is your time. Patricia Fayeweather Harlow is passionate about the environment and conserving our natural resources. She's written a five-part book series for all ages called Rock with Rodney and Party with Perky to Preserve Wildlife, which brings awareness through these vibrant characters on preserving and protecting our national parks and historic landmarks. Harlow has launched a campaign to mobilize green supporters, informing a united front against big oil, big coal, and the Keystone XL pipeline, and she addresses the controversial practice of fracking in books four and five. She's determined to bring greater awareness to the dangers of drilling and running crude oil through pipelines that cut through pristine landscapes, and she empowers readers to take action in keeping America beautiful. To learn more about Patricia Fayweather Harlow and to purchase her books, visit www.patricia-fayweather-harlow.com. That's F-A-Y-E-R-W-E-A-T-H-E-R. And play your part in preserving the landscape that we all share and love. Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to Shop Talk, and we're coming to you live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I'm your host, Daryl Ann Wright, and we are sitting here this evening talking to Nandez. He's a positive rap rap artist coming out of Compton, California. And before the break, we were talking about what inspired him to actually make his music. And he was telling us, yes, it was the ladies in high school that made him want to write these raps and sing a little song to them to get their attention. But, you know, when you're a child, you think like a child. And when you're a man, you you put down those childish things and you think like a man. So, Nandis, I want to ask you, how much yes, uh, yes. music, how much is your music influenced by your faith? You know, uh, it's it's influenced a lot by my faith, but, you know, mm-hmm. even more, I feel like it's influenced more by, you know, uh, my mom who kind of like really instilled the values that I hold today. And, mm-hmm. you know, which really stops me from making, you know, the typical type of music or, you know what I mean? Like, well, I don't really yeah. want to say the typical type of music because, you know, everybody draws from their own experiences or whatever, right. but it's a known fact that, especially in hip hop, like stereotypes sell, sex sells, you know what I mean? Like right. a lot of these, right. a lot of these uh, things that are, ma- a lot of these artists that are mainstream, especially right now, like they're pushing, a satanic agenda. They're pushing, you know, Mm -hmm. an agenda to destroy the black community and everything like that. And, you know, like my faith and my, uh, values that was instilled in me by my mom and my uncles and my family and everything, you know, like, you know, that really influences everything that I say and do. Like one Mm -hmm. of my, one thing that I really try to do is I try to move, I try to move with purpose. You know what I mean? Like, you know, instead of just, going through emotions like I, I try to thoughtfully think and, and figure out like okay what's going to be the best course of action to help you know enhance and, and and push the culture forward push our people forward you know what I mean right. so that's right. really what right. influences me yeah and that's really important to do that you know because a lot of times we get so busy that we don't really have time to reflect you know, I found that in my yeah, life, too, true. you know, that that I'm so busy trying to get the job done, you know, or get the bills paid or, you know, uh, make certain the family's yeah. OK. You know, and I don't remember. Did I actually say something kind to someone today? Did I affirm someone today? You know, so I mean, and when you have rap, you're reaching a vast audience. You know, you have that that um, yeah. 
you have that capability. So yeah, it is important what you say and how you say it, you know, and, and if that's your walk, yeah, then you make that walk and and you, you, you put it out there and we eat it up, (laughs) you know, we just, we really do. Um, you real. mentioned your mom. Yeah, you mentioned your mom and, yeah. and that you were in yeah. a single parent family, single parent household. Yep. And uh, so yeah. it was it just you or did you have siblings in the house, too, with you? And um, are you I the got, oldest? Uh, Let me ask. Yeah, I was the oldest. I'm the oldest out of uh, four. And then okay. I have a I have an older brother that uh, on my dad's side, but he lives in North Carolina. He's over on you know, on the East Coast. But on the yeah. West Coast, you know, I was the oldest, so, you know, I kind of had to step up when my yeah. dad left, and, you know, I mean, I think I was like 12 or something like that, so I kind of had to step up and try yeah. to be, yeah. you know, the man of the house, but, you know, that's hard for a kid to do, because, mm-hmm. you know, I'm I'm 12, I'm going through my own things, you know, and I'm trying to figure right. out how to get through, I'm trying to figure out how to get through junior high and all the crazy right. stuff that goes on through there. And then it's absolutely. like, absolutely. You know, yeah. yeah. So, absolutely. And mom's still mom. Not, so there's only, yeah, there's only so much you're going to say to mom, you know, <laughs> cause, cause uh, yeah, mom's nah, let you know. <laughs> yeah. You gotta, yeah. You know, I mean, you gotta get that utmost respect. You feel me? Absolutely. But at the same time, you know, at the same time, it was just kind of like, you know, I remember uh, what Tupac said, and he said, you know, for a woman, it ain't easy to raise a man. And my mom, she raised four, you know what I mean? And we all doing good. We all thriving. My youngest brother, he about to graduate from UCLA in June. Oh, wow. And, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I got got another brother that works for the government and all that stuff. Another brother who's, uh, he's like on his way to become a pastor and you know i'm doing oh, what i'm listen. doing so we all just you yeah. know we all come from the city of compton and we all are doing yeah. positive yeah. things you know what i mean so it's not Absolutely. like the stigma that compton has on it like we're literally me my brothers and so many other people that i know we're all you know breaking that stigma and breaking that you know that reputation i guess that you know that reputation that yeah. people who never been to the city have. So, yeah, you know, yeah. I thank my mom yeah. for that. You know, I appreciate her. I appreciate Absolutely. her a lot. Love her. Shout out moms. Absolutely. Absolutely. Every day is mother's day is what I say. <laughs> okay. <Every day>. So, <laughs> yeah. So, so let me, ask, let me ask you this. Um, what would, if we, it's, there's something we don't know about you. Okay. And what would be, <laughs> a surprise to us to know about Nandez? Um, well, I have <laughs> like other ambitions outside of rap, you know what I mean? Like I love rapping, mm-hmm. but, uh, you know, like one of my ambitions that I don't really talk about as much is, uh, I, I have my degree in psychology. So what I want to do is I want to, like work towards or use rap as a catalyst to, you know, open my own uh, hip hop slash music psychology practice. You know what I mean? To help oh, wow. artists with help artists with mental health issues, help artists with everything that they go through. Because a lot of the times, a lot of the times, um, you know, these artists they mm-hmm. are like it's a lot of pressure. You know, it's a lot of yeah. pressure to be in the public eye. It's a lot of pressure to have people scrutinize you and all kind of stuff, like even in your most vulnerable moments. And, you know, I feel like if I could be like being that I'm of it and that I experience some of it, like right now it's a small scale, but it's going to get bigger. Like, I'm a, yeah. you know, it's going to get up there. <clears throat> God willing. Yes, so absolutely. I figure that I figure that just the same way has sports has, you know, sports have sports psychologists who's actually played the sport or played in sports, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like music yeah. and entertainment should have psychologists that ha- have actually been in that arena. So I want to, I want to do something like that. Oh my future. goodness. No, I wanna, that makes I don't perfect, be on, sense. perfect sense. Perfect yeah, sense. I don't want to be on yeah. stages forever, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And and you are the guy to do it. You've got that degree in psychology. You know the lingo, the language, you know, the grind, you know, on a small scale. So imagine what it is on a bigger scale. Folks, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, 
I want to ask Nandez about how people accept his music. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Dr. Rob Moyer is the director of the Ocean River Institute, and he is passionate about saving the ocean by helping dolphins suffering from nitrogen pollution. Nitrogen is a dangerous pollutant, affecting our oceans, altering ocean ecosystems, and contributing to global warming. The Ocean River Institute provides opportunities to make a difference and encourages people to go the distance for savvy stewardship of a greater and bluer planet Earth. Partnered with organizations from Massachusetts to Florida, Alaska to the Caribbean, the Ocean River Institute's mission is to foster involvement in conservation and environmental monitoring by facilitating grassroots efforts at local and regional levels. Hello, I'm Rob Moyer of the Ocean River Institute. Please visit our website at oceanriver.org. Sign up for free e-alerts. You may call us at 617-661-6647. Our email address is info at Ocean River. Become informed and then act with us. Thank you. Attorney Renee Marie Smith is changing the way we sell real estate. She wrote a series of books called My Short Sale Guru Guides for all real estate practitioners. Whether you're a homeowner wanting to understand the process, an agent who has been handling short sales for years, or an industry analyst wanting to know how short sales impact your business, Renee uses her vast real estate experience to take a comprehensive look at the recent market phenomenon while relaying it in an easy to understand format through her company smith title services renee has counseled thousands of short sale participants and processed in excess of a thousand short sales her knowledge is transformational for real estate professionals and laymen alike and her live presentations provide people the opportunity to ask specific questions about their issues buy her books and schedule her to speak at your next event visit www.smithtitleservices.com or call 305-705-3428 305-705-3428 or email her at renee at smithtitleservices.com Isn't it time to sell your property today? Learn the My Short Sale Guru way. Welcome back everyone. You're listening to Shop Talk and we're coming to you live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I'm your host Daryl Ann Wright and I'm sitting here this evening with Compton, California positive rep official Nandez. Before the break, Nandez, we were talking about uh, your message and, and having it be, yes. you know, really, really positive. And that's yeah. that's your niche. So let me ask you, how do people receive that? Um, are you feeling like they, they're feeling you or, you know, do they feel <laughs> like it's phony or fake? You know, what's your what's your feedback from people? Um, you know what? Like when I do shows and when I put out my content, you know, I feel like it's received well, you know what I mean? But I also feel yeah. like, you know, just like with anything good, you have to, you know, it's, it's a fight, you know what I mean? Because people, right. like you're literally fighting against, you know, all the the other forces that are in play, you know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, it's like, I feel like when people hear my music, you know, when people see what I'm about, when people see, you know, my content, like I also do a, as well as the music, I also practice uh, motivational speaking. So mm-hmm. every Saturday I have a series that I put out on YouTube and Instagram called Saturday Motivation, where I just, you know, speak on various topics, try to give motivation to my followers and my friends and my family and fans and everything. I just try to kind of, you know, just offer a positive insight to start off your weekend, you know, and, yeah. and that's all good. You know, that's all well received. But at the same yes. time, yes. you know, like I said, like you're literally fighting against everything like you're fighting against the people promoting good you're fighting against people promoting bad you're fighting against mm-hmm. people promoting you know being different being different so mm-hmm. you know, i feel like it's well received when it's heard you know what I mean? but yeah you know as a world as a world we have to get back to the point where we uh seek out positivity and we seek out you know the good you know what i mean because yeah. i feel like a lot of people not not just a lot of people, but I just feel like the world in general, I feel like we're so, like, numb to everything that goes mm-hmm. on, and we're kind of mm-hmm. passive with it, where it's just like, oh, okay, that happened, all right, it is what it is, whatever. Yeah, you know I mean? we're like, desensitized. Yeah, we're desensitized. You're right yeah. about that. You're yeah. right about But you know what? I want to play a little clip of your music, because I've been playing it, you know, for the last few days, and I'm telling I know the words now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying it. So let's take a... <laughs> Let's take oh, a listen. Snap. Let's take a listen to Nandez. 
I pray for a breakthrough. And I got it, heaven sent. You would think Keisha Carr wrote a song about this. Feeling positive like I was a kid. Playing public, I'm in the dish. With my crush, it was her idea. Anything she wanted, swear I did. Yeah, yeah. Come up, kid. But I do it again. Swear I humbly stuck. Get a game with they want. But I do it the pro way. I swear I'm going to be the one. Swear I humbly stuck. Get a game with they want. But I do it the pro way. I swear I'm going to be the one. Where I humbly stuck, get a game with they want, but I do it the pro way, I swear I'ma be the one. Bring it back. Where I humbly stuck, get a game with they want, but I do it the pro way, I swear I'ma be the one. Uh, I know you see me stuck, I know I got what you want. All right, uh, folks, you, you got that humble stunt from Nandez, and then that drops when, Nandez? That's Drops gonna April 26, April. Friday, April 26 on all digital platforms, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, you know what I mean, SoundCloud, everywhere. Oh, man, and I'm going to be all over it, and so will you people, you listeners out there. This guy's got some talent. You know, and when you, your music, the, that beat is sick, and the, the bass, oh, my goodness, when you crank that up, I'm sure you know this, Nandez, <laughs> but when you crank yeah. that up really loud, that thing is smoking. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now. No, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about your process. I'd like to know a little bit about okay. your process. How do you, you know, and hopefully we'll have enough time before the break, but how do you, okay, so let's say you, you're inspired, all of a sudden something happens and you start to yeah. write or do you sit down and say, this is my time to write, I have a schedule, and this is what I do. How does that happen for you? You know what? I think it just kind of happens, you know what I mean? Like, I could just be, you know, at work, and inspiration hits me, and I write a full song, or I could be, you know, just driving, and, you know, but I feel like that's yeah. the, the best way to do it, because it comes natural, you know yeah. what I mean? So, uh, for me, my process is just, I just let the ideas flow and I just yeah. let them come when they come. And I'm also like, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'm a thinker. So, you know, I'm mm -hmm. always thinking, you know, so, you know, I'm always thinking about like different little things. So that uh, yeah. brings creativity and, and inspiration as well. Like when I try to sit down and just write something, you know, I almost, I'm almost never able to, come up with anything because it feels forced mm -hmm. and the thing about music is yeah. that you know it has to be natural mm -hmm. so, right right so yeah, right yeah. yeah yeah and that, that sounds about right you know because uh i mean you know life has to happen you know you have to have yeah. something to write about so yeah you're thinking and, and feeling you know people's pain you're thinking about situations i mean anything really could inspire you to write a rap but how do you find the right beat what do you do who's your go-to or do you create your own beats? Um, I'm actually learning how to create my own beats, but uh, uh -huh. honestly, I just kind of, I just kind of let the beat find me. Like with that beat mm -hmm. right there, that uh, the humble stump beat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I actually, uh, the producer that I got the beat from, shout out Willie B. You know, he's a he's a well established hip hop producer. He uh he has sent me a zip folder full of beats and I actually let my girlfriend pick that beat out the humble stump beat. Oh, so yeah, she, she that did beat, an excellent you know, just, job. <laughs> yeah, she did a she good job. Beat, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Just so she could be a part of the process. And right. uh, right. yeah, man, you know, I just took it from there and yeah, made it happen. yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, it but does I just, happen. I just but for me, uh, not to cut you off, for me, uh, like, I, I like to pick beats where when I listen to the beats, the words already start to form. So if I listen to a beat and I can start freestyling and, and the words and the concepts just come right there, I know that's the beat for me. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy, this is good stuff. You know, if you guys are thinking about becoming a rap artist or you're out there and you're doing it, you're, you're doing your thing. You're in high school, you know, and you're like, look, I got something. I really want to know how to do this. This is the brother you need to, to follow. He has a good idea, a good ear, an absolute perfect heart to do this. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, I want to talk to Nandez about how he handles crisis. We'll be right back. 
If you're a person caring for someone living with dementia, then this program is for you. It's designed for families and friends coping with the challenges of caregiving. The foundation of care, Susan Kohler believes, is communication. Innovative Dementia Care with Susan Kohler provides strategies to keep the lines of communication open between you and your loved one, increase quality interactions, decrease the burden of daily care for you, the caregiver. Join Susan, 11 a.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network. Susan and her guests will share techniques so you can facilitate your loved one's ability to safely follow your instructions, participate in daily activities, and express daily wants and desires. To learn positive solutions, creative ideas, and practical strategies that will build a healthy foundation of care. Do you battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Weight No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Weight No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Weight No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Weight No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. Welcome back to Shop Talk. We are sitting here with Nandez and we're coming to you live on the Bold Brave Media Network and Tune In Radio. Nandez is a positive rapper out of Compton, California, and I want to tell you it's been so inspirational sitting down, talking with him about the process, about his journey, and and really the message that he wants to put out there. Um, Nandez, let me ask you, how do you yes, want to how do you want them to perceive you? So so when you opened up for Baby Bash, that was probably yeah. one of your bigger shows, right? Um, yeah, yeah. First, were you nervous? Were you a little bit nervous? I think I was more ready. Like I was, I get yeah. nervous before any show because, yeah. you know, you know what they say, uh, you know, when you're nervous, that just means that you care. So, you know, I always okay. want to do the best job that I can. So I get nervous, but at the same time, I'm more so just ready. Like, I'm ready to get this message out of here. I'm ready to let these people know what I can do, yeah. what I've always known I could do. You know what I mean? Like, so, yeah, yeah. yeah you know. So, so you want but, them to perceive you as what? As a, a brand new I, I, style of rap? What is it? What would you call it? I just want them to perceive me as somebody who is trying to inspire and just trying to be a light in the world. That's, that's really what it comes down to. Like it's bigger than music. You know, like I want, when people hear my music or hear my message, I want them to, to just like see a light, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. or, or one yeah. of the many lights that that's out here because, yeah. you know, we need it, man. Like you never know who you're going to touch. Like, you know, it might be a kid who never listened to hip hop. And, mm-hmm. you know, what if I'm the first person, what if I'm the first song that they ever click on? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you don't know yeah. what type of power that you have, what type of power that you have on the platforms that you have. So that's really what I want to perceive. You know, like, I, I feel mm-hmm. like people can, I feel like people can feel, uh, you know, my energy. So I always try to bring the positive energy and the motivational energy. So you know, if I'm on stage and I can get that across, that's, that's all that really matters to me. That's it. That's it right there. So when the, the crowd is starting to jump with you and, you know, and they're saying your words, yeah. you know, how does that how does that make you feel? Does that pump you up? What does it do? Man, it's crazy because it's just like, <laughs> like you never, like when you write, you don't yeah. ever like think about you know, how people are going to internalize your words or internalize the things that you do. And Mm -hmm. when you actually see it manifest, 
it's just like oh, it's like it's like a rush, like it's crazy. It's like a it's like an adrenaline rush. It's like a high, like it's yeah. like a natural yeah. high. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I could just imagine. I could just imagine, you know, because you, you know, you spend how long does it take you actually to to lay down a track? I mean, you're you're recording, you know, you're a perfectionist. Yeah. Do you start over at that one good enough? Let me do it again. How do you? What's that process like? Uh, to actually complete a track, it could be, uh, well, for humble stunt, I did two. I did two two hour studio sessions, so that's four and then uh four hours and then the actual mixing and mastering process took about a month to finish. Oh wow. Like it's, yeah. it's a it's a process. Oh my goodness. For a three minute song talking... it could take like for a three minute song it could take anywhere from like ten to twenty hours to finish. You know what I mean? So yeah, so oh, wow. it's like all I the subtle no nuances, idea. you gotta get all the frequencies right, everything. So yeah, you gotta get, yeah. you gotta yeah. say the words correctly. The mic picks up everything, so you gotta make sure you say, uh, you, you gotta make sure you say everything the correct way, and you know it's not mm-hmm. any, you know. I, mean, I have a list, so sometimes I have to say things over and over again so that the list mm-hmm. is not noticeable. Like it's, it's a process. It's, it's a process. Yeah. So yeah. on April twenty sixth, yeah. I need y'all to go listen to that. You know, what I mean, oh, we put a lot of work into that. Absolutely. Now, where again can we find this? What it, What are your um? Where What are your venues? How can we find this? What are your NandezMusic dot com? I know about that one. Yeah, you can find my music on, on NandezMusic dot com. You can search. Yeah. Uh, Nandez N A N D S Nandez with a S, not a Z. You can right. uh, search me on Spotify. You can search me on Apple Music. You can search me on YouTube. You can yeah. search me everywhere you know what i mean like you can okay. you can check me out on my socials nandez at nandez music music spelled yeah. the right way m-u-s-i-c not m-u-s-i-k yes. like some people spell yeah. it you know yeah. like you see it in right. a dictionary just like that just and, like uh, that and you're on yeah. twitter on you're twitter, on Facebook every, and twitter everything across the board is nandez music you know just make nandez it easy music. find me everywhere yeah. Okay, that that's perfect. And it's Nanda's with an S, and music spelled just the way it is, people. So when you get on there, and you you know you're you got your cell phone right now, go ahead and go in. You know, look nandasmusic.com. <laughs> really, because on the 26th, you're going to want to download that thing. You're going to want to go to SoundCloud, download it, and play that whole thing until you memorize those words. Because I'm telling you, it's going to have you jumping in your seat. Now, let me ask you this, Nanda's, before we go to another break. Oh, sure, man. It, okay. Now, how do you feel? How do you feel about the hip hop scene today? How do you feel about the message that's out there today in hip hop? You know what? Like, I feel like the message that's out there in hip hop right now, you know, it's a, I feel like it's, it's in a space where there's something for everybody, you know what Mm -hmm. I mean? But Mm -hmm. like one thing that I really hate that I wish that they would stop promoting is I wish they would stop promoting the the drug culture in hip hop Mm -hmm. because you know it's it's just at a point where it's like we don't really need that you know like we don't really need that type of mindless music because a lot of people don't understand that music is something that can penetrate your psyche and can, you know, cause you to do things, like cause you to do, uh, you know, certain things that you might not do. And, Mm -hmm. uh, like it's never, it's never just entertainment. It's never just entertainment. If it was just entertainment, these, uh, these big companies wouldn't have mathematical equations and algorithms and stuff like that to, to program songs into your head and, you know, stuff like that. So, right. You know, I feel like, I feel like, hip hop is in a good space as far as just like the the diversity but I feel mm-hmm. like us as a people need to you know like get rid of the whole drug culture and get rid of everything that's that's holding us back you know like that's yeah. something that we don't really need man like let's promote yeah. more positivity let's promote more you know young people doing great things like talk about absolutely all the kids absolutely. that you know Talk about all the kids that's in college trying to, you know, make changes in this world. Talk about, you know, people that's really out here doing great things in the world because we need it. 
Yeah. And we're going to talk about that. We're going to take a quick break, but we're going to talk more about, I guess, the history of hip hop and where do we go from here? We're going to be right back. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. WikiWags brings harmony back into your home for male dogs and their owners. Inventor and entrepreneur Linda Jangula has created the disposable doggy diaper wraps made with the male dog in mind. The built-in wicking ability prevents rashing and other potential health issues for your dog. Each wrap comes in four sizes and has dual reattachable magic tabs for easy adjustments. And each size has a 7-inch logo strip for adjustability. So they are comfortable and easy to use. No more fuss, just leave the mess to us. Whether you're in or out, your dog will be free to run about. Stop cleaning and start enjoying your home, and you can even leave your dog alone. To order your WikiWags, visit WikiWags.com. Or to find out where to buy WikiWags in your town, visit MyWikiWags.com and start enjoying having man's best friend around. If you seek a courageous advocate, prepare to champion your rights with consumer service agencies that support aging populations. Carol Ann Hamilton is the one for you. Carol Ann is an elder care coach, author, and speaker with a quarter million hours lived experience successfully supporting unculpable aging parents. As a result of a challenging journey, Carol Ann revolutionizes how stressed out caregivers restore serenity to their worlds. She also brings over 25 years of change management expertise in Fortune 500 settings to catalyze urgent transformation within the elder care industry. Carol Ann is a popular speaker at conferences across North America. She has appeared via TV, radio, and print globally. Now you can tune in weekly to get a dose of her inspiration plus down-to-earth advice to cope with even the most difficult aging parents. Listen Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back to Shop Talk, everyone. We're coming to you live on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. I'm your host, Daryl Ann Wright. I'm sitting here with Nandez coming out of Compton, California. He is a positive rap artist, and we've been talking so much about his process, his evolution in music, his thoughts, and, and, and what he wants to put out there in the world. And right before the break, we were going to talk about the evolution of hip-hop, where it started, how it's evolved over time, and where would Nandez like to see it go in the future. So, Nandez, let's, let's go back. Let's go back to the beginning yeah, of hip-hop. You know, and the way that yeah. I remember it, you know, I mean... I mean, it, I don't know. I didn't hear too much profanity. It wasn't a whole lot of talking about drugs. You know, when I first started, it was more about the beat, you know, and it was more about yeah. beats and that kind of thing. And so I was all in it. You know, I'm all like, oh, goodness, you know, I can try to learn a little bit of this. They were talking so fast I couldn't get it out. But then the message changed a little bit. Why do you think that happened? I think the message changed and like a lot of the pioneers can attest to this. You know, I was listening to an interview by uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff last mm-hmm. night, actually, and he was saying that, uh, you know, really what happened is it's like, you know, hip hop in its purest form. You feel me? It was all about, you yeah. know, just having fun, parties, and just you know, social awareness. But like yeah. once corporations and corporate entities realize they can make money from it. You know, I mean, they started to kind of, you know, place their stamp on it and started, you know, uh, it is a business, you know, the music yeah. business. So they started trying to like do things that, you know, would sell, you know, what mm-hmm. I mean? so I think that uh, that really that really uh, influenced the direction that hip hop went. In a mm-hmm. lot of ways, because a lot of the times, you know, a lot of artists do gimmicks and a lot of things just for, you know, just for the ability to sell, you know, yeah. uh, sell the music or sell, sell a brand, whatever. Like, so, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, w- what you're and, talking about, like, when it was all about the beat and everything, that was more so just, yeah. you know, it in purest form. Yeah. And I mean, can we take it back there? I mean, I understand, you know, life is different now. <laughs> life is different now. You know, I yeah. mean, the hands down, it's, it's a different world that we're living in now. But there's something to be said about the origin yeah. of hip hop. You know, I mean, it's still spoke it to your spirit. 
you know, and it really moved you, you know, and, and everybody joined on that bandwagon. And if it wasn't something that was inspiring, we wouldn't have it today. You know, it wouldn't be yeah, here today. True. You know, so, <clears throat> so where do you, yeah, where do you see hip, where would you <clears throat> like to see hip hop going, you know, in the near future? What, what would you, you'd said, you, you know, talk less about the drugs. I agree. You know, I yeah. agree. You know, everybody knows that drugs are out there and, you know, and and they're devastating and decimating families and people's lives. They really are. Um, yeah. So what do you think, you know, what, what what would you like to see in hip hop that's just not there right now? You know, man, I would like to see just more people that are or not more people, but more music that just celebrates the strides that we've made, you know, yeah. as a culture and as a, as a people, you know, like, like we've yeah. made a lot of, a lot of great strides. You feel me? That's not really talked about. It's celebrated. You right. know, like it shouldn't <clears throat> like, you know, it shouldn't be a, a rare occurrence that we talk about all the good things that happen in this world or that, you know, rappers are doing. Like it's a lot of rappers out here that are not just rappers, just like artists, music, like uh, yeah. music artists, people in general who are out here doing great things that, you know, are never highlighted. So I would yeah. just like to see more, you know, positivity, man. Like that's what I'm all about. I'm all about the positive vibes. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. For me, like we got we got enough negativity, man. Like we let's, do. Let's, let's and, be more positive with everything. Yeah, yeah. Because there's only so much negativity that you can internalize before you start to say, "I can't take it anymore." You know, I've got to get away from this. Yeah. I need a break. You know, I need a breather. I need to feed my spirit with something else. You know, yeah. and yeah. I don't want to see hip hop go away. I don't think it will. I'm not saying that. So nobody, please don't drag me. I'm not saying that. I just uh, want to see it evolve. You know, I want to see yeah. it evolve. I I understand that there are different categories also of hip hop. There's gangster rap. There's, you know, uh, positive rap. There's just different avenues that people walk in and write about and, and rap about. I get that. And I'm not taken away from that, you know, because that's their truth. Yeah. I just, I, 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 I think what you're saying, and I agree with you is, well, I don't have to speak for you. You're right here, but, I would like to see it evolve into something more positive. You know, I would like to see somebody t make an entire rap about President Obama being in the office, you know, of the White House, the highest, <laughs> you know, office in the land. Make an entire album about, you know, Beyonce. Make an entire album about, you know, just all of the accomplishments yeah. that people make an entire album about uh, album about your own family, your own mother, like, you know, Tupac yeah. did, you know, I mean, just, I don't know if we could only change the world. Wouldn't we do it? <laughs> we would want to do it. Nah, yeah. We would want to do That's it. True. That yeah. true. Yeah. 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 So who no, were your favorite? Did do a song Go ahead. about Obama though. No, I'm sorry. No, so I said, Gigi. Easy did do a song about Obama that my president okay, wow. is black, my Lambo. And I stand blue. corrected. <laughs> do another one. <laughs> do one about Michelle, yeah, you know, a whole one about her. <laughs> hey, that, that'd be dope. That'd be dope. Yeah. Yeah. She said some things that, you know, are iconic. And, you know, I'm very certain, yeah, you know, really uh, when they go low, we go high. Somebody could just make a rap just about that <laughs> and her book. OK, yeah. so who are your who were your favorite favorite musicians growing up, Nandez? Who were they? Uh, growing up, like, you know, we had to go with Tupac. Tupac was mm -hmm. very influential. Uh, yeah. Ice Cube. Ice Cube was dope. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, up, definitely. I listened to Warren G. I like Warren G. DJ Quick. Uh, oh, I think I was more exposed to like West Coast hip hop. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, right. I also listened to a lot of different genres. I listened to country. I listened to, you mm -hmm. know, Radio Disney. I listened to pop. I listened to everything. So I think that really influences my uh my writing style now, you know, which is why, you know, I Absolutely. can write hooks and, you know, catchy lyrics with ease. Yeah. 
Well, we're going to hold that thought, take a quick break. We'll be right back to find out where you can find Nandez. We'll be right back. For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. Ms. Stapula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with Disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapoulis drives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes, and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at jobsannex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. Jobsannex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to Shop Talk, coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. We've been sitting here this evening with Positive Rap official Nandez coming out of Compton, California. We have had a good time. I appreciate you, Nandez, for coming out. And people, we want to give you uh, some some ways to listen, some some avenues where you can go and download Nandez's music. So Nandez, tell us what's the titles of some of your songs and then let us know where we can find you. All right, I got a humble stunt dropping on April 26th. Go ahead and, uh, you know, look that up on April 26th. That's uh, not this Friday coming up, but two mm-hmm. weeks from now. Um, I got a song called Never Stop. Never Stop is just about the relentless the relentless pursuit of your dreams, you know what I mean? So, you know, oh, if you're absolutely. looking for motivation music, go ahead and listen to that Never Stop. That's available everywhere. Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, you know what I mean? It's everywhere. Um, I got a song called Relationship Status that, you know, it's just a fun little song about... You know, when I was trying to change a, a girl's relationship status, you know, I wrote a song about it. Uh, <laughs> I got a song called For a Light. That's basically just more focused. It's That song is more aimed towards, um, you know, just like the whole social media era and how like, mm-hmm. like, you know, girls may feel like they have to do things online just for likes not even girls just like anybody in general who's doing oh yeah you know things for likes and comments and stuff like that for that social that social uh what's the one looking for for that social uh that social uh, acceptance uh affirmation you know yeah definitely definitely oh yeah 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 we get caught up in that don't we Sometimes. We really do. <laughs> so we can so we can find you on nandezmusic.com. Yeah. So it's N A N D E S music spelled just the way it is, nandezmusic.com on Instagram, Twitter, yes, Facebook, man. and YouTube. That's nandez dot or nandezmusic.com. Yeah. And then you're also on SoundCloud. All right. And yeah, I'm on you've SoundCloud, got something Nandez Music. Yes. You know, everything yes. is Everything is Nandez music all across the board. Um, okay. So you can find my music there. And if you want to, you know, get, uh, if you want to get, 
uh, you know, content sent directly to your email. You can sign up for my email list on my website. You know, just mm. that way we just stay connected. I'll shoot you exclusive offers and, you know, exclusive music through the email. But, yeah, everything Absolutely. is just Nando's Music. Just do a Google search, Nando's Music, and I'll pop up. Everything's good. Okay. That sounds so good, brother. And we absolutely are going to do that. Um, and don't forget your YouTube uh, messages, your inspirational shout outs, your Saturday motivation. And don't you do a Monday? Seems like I got a Monday um, motivation one time. A Monday motivation? Uh yeah. I probably sent it I to you one, one Monday, but... Uh, you probably sent it, yeah. And I needed it that day, yeah. too. I appreciate that from you, brother. So oh Saturday God. motivation. So, people, this is your guy, your positive rap official, Nandez, coming out of Compton, California. He has it all ready for you. All you have to do is just play the music, learn the words, and you will be sitting pretty and really enjoying this positive rap movement. We're just about out of time. I just want to tell you one thing. Uh, we love you. We love you and we're here from you. And we want to thank you so much for, for spending this time with us. Nandez, is there one more thing that you want to say to the audience? Um, I just want to, you know, encourage everybody to stay positive, stay prayed up and, you know, try your best to inspire somebody just like how you're inspiring people with this radio show. You know, I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. I just want to thank you, Nandez, for coming on the show and bringing your positive rap official movement to the people. We love it. We love it. We're going to get you on SoundCloud. We're going to download your music, nandezmusic.com. People, we are completely out of time. I just want to say I thank you so much. We'll be back next Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. You're listening to Shop Talk. Bye-bye. This has been Shop Talk with your host, Daryl Ann Wright. Tune in each week as Daryl focuses on identifying designers, influencers, writers, entertainers, models, or everyday people parlaying their natural talents right here on Daryl Wright's Shop Talk. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.